I'm going to do a, another demo here, this time using um, a USB web camera and the OpenCV software library instead of MATLAB. So OpenCV, we're going to be using a little bit later in the course, but I just wanted to show you um, its capabilities here. So it's a um, based on C and C++. Uh, it's a library of functions for real-time image processing and computer vision. It's uh, open source, free from this website. And here is a website that has documentation. And some books are available. Um, although it's not as easy to use as MATLAB, uh, easy as prototype for prototyping, uh, it can run in real time. And of course, it's free. This shows the program that I'm going to show. The program does the uh, shows the effects of reducing spatial resolution and grayscale resolution. So standard C++, C++ program, here's the main function here. Uh, you can see that I have to declare images as shown here before I use them. Um, here is where we open the uh, source of the images. In this case, it's a camera attached to the computer here. This is a little bit um, of an extra thing that I put in to allow me to adjust the parameters of the algorithm using uh, sliders. Second page um, basically opens up some windows, creates the track bars, and then goes into an infinite loop where we grab an image, convert it to grayscale, change the number of bits per pixel, and that the way we do that is by taking the bits per pixel, raising it to the 2 to that power. So that gives us a number from uh, 0 to 256. Um, divide by 256, so now we get a number from 0 to 1. Then we scale the input image to another image using that scale factor. So we're, we're shrinking the... Um, bits per pixel, the, the values of each pixel, down by the scale factor. Since we're putting it back into a integer image, an 8-bit integer, that does quantize the image. Then just to uh, visualize that uh, easily, we scale it back up to the original, uh, but of course we've lost the precision from the first level here. So effectively, we've reduced the number of bits per pixel to whatever we have here. And then we show that image using I am show. The uh, last part changes the image size. Um, so we use a resize function that uh, reduces the size of the image. Um, we're going to use nearest neighbor interpolation and then re expands the image back to the original size. So I'll go ahead and run that. This is in uh, Visual C++. So here's the program here. We go up to this menu called Start Debugging. OK, so what you see here is um, a live image. That's the original image converted to grayscale. This image shows the um, spatial resolution of the image 100% uh, right now. I'm shrinking it down gradually. Here's 50%. You can see some little pixelation here. Keep going down, and the pixelation gets a lot more noticeable. So if I wiggle the camera around here. This one uh, shows the effect of the grayscale resolution, uh, starting from 8 bits per pixel um, shrinking that down to, oh, I guess this is, uh, says three, but it's really four according to my scale here. Um, and then this would be uh, three bits per pixel, two, and then finally one. So this is effectively a binary image. 